The following contest is an Iron Man match. Making his way to the ring from Punja, India, weighing in at 347 pounds, the great Kerry. I can't believe some of the things this athlete has been saying about their opponents ahead of this and every match. Just going around insulting people. Well, Saxon, I think that's completely unfair. Those insults are just part of an intricate mind game being played. That is a sound strategy for any competitor and produces an edge in this match. He's in perhaps the best physical condition of his life. He knows what it takes to reach the top here in WWE. And his opponent from Essex, Vermont, weighing in at 260 pounds. Social media has been buzzing since this match was announced, and I think the competitors plan on delivering on that hype. This is a match he's craved for quite some time. He's ready and raring to go. We talk about different strategies in this type of match, and something that is as just as important as endurance. Well, some superstars are engineered for this type of grueling contest. If you've got great stamina, you almost have a home field advantage. Listen, the only things that matter are the scoreboard and the clock. You only need one more fall than your opponent to win here. Boom! Measured up nicely. Fist drop! This one might be headed ringside. He's thinking a steel chair is just what he needs to wreak some havoc here. Coming back in the ring. Oh, God. If you want to succeed in an Iron Man match, is it better to focus on short-term success or on trying to play the long game? You need to think long-term. The first fall doesn't win you any bonus points. It's the final tally at the end that really matters. Oh, this match grinded him down a little. Measured up nicely. This drop! And look at that, Saxton. He's running away. Uh, I wouldn't say that. He's just recomposing himself. far into the match. Where is this energy coming from? He's able to fend off the attack.
Look at this. Somersault plancha to the floor. Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke. And it pays off. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Right Larry with the arm wrench. Very nice. He's certainly looking in command at the moment. Training, strategizing, and execution. It's all coming together right now. Brutal stop to the body. And just getting started. Look at this brutality. This is how you torture your opponent. Oh, my God. God, this is hard to watch. <laughs> Slips out of the way. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Oh, look at the squeeze. It's on like a vice grip. Oh, that just looks nasty. the back and that was 
is a well-targeted attack. And a big one. Oh, oh, man. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Bringing out that kendo stick means he is truly willing to go to the extreme. He's able to sidestep. Oh my gosh, what impact! This is a pretty dangerous place to fight. Screens, exposed metal, wedges, so much could go wrong very quickly. He's testing fate here in danger of a count out. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side.
slowed it down with the back elbow. Kicked out by a fraction of a second. Able to get the advantage here. Look at this straight. Incredible power slam. He heads outside. Countouts legal in this match. Shoulder tackle. Hit drop. I'm a witness to that. And that one misses the mark. Using the elbow as a weapon. And he gets set back into the ring. Did you expect anything less? Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. If you're looking to cause quick, sharp damage, you can't go wrong with the kendo stick. Squeeze, it's on like a vice grip. Oh, that just looks nasty. And he's been taking an enormous amount of abuse in this match. He must be wondering. Two handed One more time throwing the heavy artillery. Late in the match, he scores a fall. That's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. That match might go down as one of the best matches in WWE history. Here is your winner, the great of this battle plain to see on their face at least they can say they won the match with a win like this things have got to taste a little bittersweet right about now actually saxon i imagine the win tastes a lot more like pennies